to another episode of Behind the Beans. Today I'm in the processing mill and I'm going to show you how we process coffee, which is taking it from its cherry form and into a dry form called parchment. It's important that you know that this is just one way of processing. Um, there are other ways and I'll talk to you a little bit about those as well. The point of these methods is to remove the outer layers of coffee and just to end up with a bean. The method we use is called wet processing uh, or washed and that's because we use water to clean the coffee. We do this the same day that we pick the coffee so that the coffee won't have a chance to over ferment or spoil. Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit about each step and then I'm going to show you what it looks like in action. So let me show you how it's done. Okay, so the coffee gets poured down here into the funnel. So now, the beans from the funnel come down through here and into this blue barrel here. Then water comes down and fills up the barrel all the way pretty much to the top. Once the water level gets to a certain point, the bad beans will be floating on top and will come out here uh, through this pipe and into this red bucket here. And then the good beans that don't float will end up going through this pipe over here. So the beans will be coming down the white pipe there and into this machine here. And this machine will pulp the coffee and we'll scrub it and wash it clean. So it comes down here first and it will remove the pulp through friction and come down here as well and be washed. Now the beans, the green beans, the ones that aren't ripe, will hopefully end up down here because the friction won't be strong enough to remove the outside. So the green should end up coming through here. The pulp is going to be coming down here after it's removed, down through here, and out through this. Now the good beans that have been washed are going to go through here, up through here, and out through this pipe and onto the top of the dryer. So another way, a more common way of processing coffee is to let the processed or pulped coffee sit in water overnight and ferment. This is what we did in Hawaii. This allows the mucilage, the slimy part, to come off naturally and come off easier when, you're, when it's time to wash it. The other factor is that some say that it imparts a sweeter flavor or a better flavor to the coffee because the mucilage is the sweet part and it allows it to infiltrate the coffee before you wash it off. However, if you ferment the coffee too long, you can actually ruin it. Um, because over fermentation can sometimes impart a sour flavor to the coffee. So by doing it this way, by cleaning it off, we avoid any of those complications. In the next episode, I'll be explaining the next step, which is drying. So see you next time on Behind the Beans. <laughs>